Hi everyone, this is Manny from Art Mellows. Today I want to talk about Nomad Sculpt. It's a sculpting app available for tablet devices. You can download it from the App Store or Google Play Store for your tablet device. With a wide toolkit and an easy to use interface, Nomad Sculpt is an iPad painting and sculpting software. If you want to get into sculpting, it's totally worth every penny. If you ask me, it took really a long time to have an app for molding and sculpting of this quality on tablet devices, which is understandable because an app for sculpting and molding would need a lot of power. It's possible now because now we have a really powerful tablet devices. One of the best apps for sculpting on tablet devices so far I have seen is Forger and Nomad. My sculpting experience on tablet started with Forger up just because I think the Forger was cheaper than Nomad and I was like, okay, let's go for Forger. I was using Forger for a while until I noticed the popularity of Nomad Sculpt and I decided to invest on it. You can finish the full sculpt in Nomad and export it to desktop applications like Blender or Maya to retopologize and wrap and texture or even bring it to ZBrush and fine tune it. So Nomad supports vertex painting and you can actually export it in Blender and even move the vertex paint into UV maps when the model is unwrapped. If you're a newbie in 3D Sculpt, this whole thing may not make sense to you, but eventually as you deep dive, you will appreciate it. So in Nomad, you can 3D model, you can texture, and you can render. I think Nomad Sculpt is priced very well. Um, it's one-time payment, 15 US dollars, and no hassle of monthly subscription. It comes with comprehensive set of sculpting tools for 3D sculpting and painting. All the basic set of brushes like clay, crease, move, flatten, smooth, even has a fall of standard control of parameters you can even use it with alphas and and masking forger as well as nomad sculpt both are amazing apps for 3d sculpting experience on tablet and mobile devices but i think nomad sculpt has some more tools when it comes to texturing and rendering the interface of nomad sculpt is a little bit more customizable you can make it a little bit more interesting and colorful while the forger is a little bit more grayscale <laughs> This is not a deal breaker, but it does give a different feel to user experience. If you want to gain your experience on 3D sculpting, Nomad is a great way to start before you actually upgrade yourself more professional desktop applications like Blender and ZBrush. On the other hand, even if you're doing ZBrush and Blender, sometimes it's just good to sit on the couch and have your iPad on your lap and, and, and sculpt just for fun. If you're getting into 3D sculpting, um, you will notice that ZBrush has a steep learning curve. ZBrush is packed with tools. It could be very overwhelming and very intimidating in the beginning. So you want to start with Nomad Sculpt with very basic tools and you can upgrade it to ZBrush. Printing getting more and more popular every day and you can easily use Nomad Sculpt to create 3D objects which can be later 3D printed. I'm a very loyal and old user of Nomad Sculpt now. I have uh, so far been able to create a lot of likeness sculpt and illustrations on Nomad. I've done a few of commission works as well. I have some tutorials on YouTube as well as I do a lot of blogs on Nomad Sculpt. You can visit artmellows.com for more information. Also feel free to download free and comprehensive uh, ebook version of Nomad Sculpt. I try and share time lapses of all my fun Nomad uh, projects on YouTube. You can even check um, artmellows.com for more information on Nomad Sculpt. In the link below, you can also find free and comprehensive uh, ebook version for Nomad Sculpt. It should give you a good head start to start your journey with Nomad. This is all I have for you in this video. This is Manny from Artmellows signing out. See you in the next video. Bye for now.